Hello, welcome to the project developing a voice assistant that's Dev AI. So now this is a very very interesting project in which you all might have been interested of. You all have heard about voice assistants like Alexa, Siri and all of those things. Now in this project we will be building the same. Now during the course of this project we will learn about how we can develop a voice a an AI voice assistant using Python and different libraries. This assistant will perform several small tasks for users like opening apps, playing music, sending mails, web surfing etc. Similar to your iPhone uh, voice assistant Siri or uh, a Samsung assistant Bixby when you tell him to perform or to make a call or to open an app it opens it. So we'll be making an assistant for your laptop when you'll make it for your own laptop so that when you'll tell your laptop to play music or to open an app or to open a website it will do it with just a voice command. So it is pretty interesting right. So but let us see that what is a voice assistant. Uh, we have seen that we have often seen all of these voice assistant but how does it power it. Now the basic thing behind this is AI artificial intelligence. So now use of AI in market is growing rapidly. We can use AI in market many times which can save us time as well as an automate daily chores. So now the main purpose of this project is to automate to save time ok. Now what this is what this project will mainly focus on. These assistants are used to save time to perform small scale activities for users. A voice assistant is a perfect solution which will automate most of the small task and will save most of the time. Means that the task can be finished just by talking with the computer. As I said earlier that you can perform all the small tasks which you do like opening new files, playing music or opening an app. You have to click to your mouse, you have to navigate through there but all you can do it with your just your voice command and automate your laptop for over. Sounds cool right? So now what are the different applications? We have seen that now what these applications are how people can use this. Startups is a very good example for application of AI because in startups there is a huge amount of workload. So we can automate some parts of this uh, uh, automate some part like sending emails or opening something or doing some of the things so that the workload of the people can be bring down. Okay, Students. Students now students like you can develop your own personal assistant so that they can do things. You can flaunt with your friends like you have your personal assistant and you you can, it can do things that other people can do or other laptops can do on their own. HR managers like the people which are busy with you have to send mails. So we can develop an assistant for them so that they just have to speak a single word and then the mail will be sent to them. Okay, the personal use again I said that you can build up your own laptop or you can automate your own computer. So now what will be the problem statement? So it is pretty simple as I have said earlier also. We will be building a prototype of a voice assistant named Dave. Now the overall project's concept was inspired by time because everyone understands the value of time. Artificial intelligence is at the heart of this project. Now main motivation of this project can be taken by present voice assistants like Alexa and we will all have a look behind the infrastructures of these mega voice assistants and understand them. Basically you the these tasks they perform how do they do what are the libraries involved what is the logic behind it it is very simple and when you'll come to know you'll be amazed and you can see that how you can do the same thing which these giant companies do now the last is moving on the timeline like the first thing we'll be doing is importing libraries i'll be telling you what are the important libraries then we'll be building different speak functions for our ai then we'll be building command functions then finally we'll test our voice assistant okay we'll test our voice assistant so this will be a very very interesting project and i hope and i am sure you'll like it so let's begin hello all and welcome to the notebook section of our project developing a voice assistant so now in the introduction section we have seen that why are we developing this and the main crux behind the motive of our project. Now the main part starts here. Now in this session, in this notebook session, we will be seeing what are the different libraries used and how we can exactly develop a voice assistant like Alexa, Bixby, Siri and all of those. Things. So moving on. The timeline as I told you earlier also the first we'll be doing is we'll be importing the libraries then we'll be developing the voice of our AI like we'll be telling what are the different voices 
then we'll be developing greeting functions then we'll be developing command functions you'll get to know one by one what are these functions and what are these functions used for the very first and important thing is importing libraries so now the libraries are these these are the main libraries which will be used now the first library is pyttsx3 so now this is a inbuilt library in python or if it is not prudent you can install it using pip install pip install pyttsx3 now this i have already installed so you can install this in with your with this command basically this is the library developed by different uh, google uh, and companies to give the voice for for your ai okay i'll tell you what is the use and how we can use this library but if you'll just search it search this library on the net you'll come to know this is the library under pypy and this is in, in the uh, python only so is a text to speak conversion library in python basically whatever it is written it will convert that text into audio the computer will speak okay so now this is what uh, this is what about our speaking library now another one is date time basically to find out this is a very common library basically to find out the date and time then this is the speech recognition as sr the speech recognition is used for getting the input like the speech to text this one was this one was text text to text to speech library and this is what this is speech to text library okay so this is speech to text library the another one is wiki wikipedia basically to surf the wikipedia you will come to know how this is used then another one is import os basically to find out the path of our file for opening local files in our computer now the last one is web browser now this web browser to basically surf the internet basically serve the internet and to find out okay what are the different uh, things in let's suppose if i want to open google.com if i want to open youtube or any of the site on the internet i have to basically use this library so that my model will just go and search for it now another one library also you need is pi audio okay that i library is basically used to take the input from your now basically pi audio is uh, not uh, present directly you cannot directly install using the mpip install pi audio you have a link you have a link i'll tell you the link now this is the link in this you have to search for pi audio here it is pi audio i'll be providing this link don't worry now then what you have to do you have to see what is the your python uh, version okay now how you can do this you will just go to your anaconda prompt you'll just go to your anaconda prompt and you'll write python now it is now it will come 3.8.8 that means my python version is 3.8.8 okay now i'll just search for 38 now there are two things 32 and 64 that is if my computer is 32 bit window or a 64 bit window now usually all of these come uh, all nowadays bit are 64 bit only you can check it by you by seeing in your computer panel or control panel so now this is my 64 i'll just download this then i'll just download this and paste it in my library paste it in a library then i'll just go to my command prompt i'll just go to my sorry anaconda command prompt i'll just go to my anaconda command prompt then i'll say i'll just paste that like path suppose i have pasted my uh, this uh, file in this library only this is my root library then i'll just say pip install then i'll just copy this path copy this file name and click here then it will get installed now by that you can install the pi audio but if you are working in a regular id like visual vs code or any of those things these libraries are automatically installed because they have a c++ environment you are working in a jupyter notebook that's why it is now we are not able to do now if you are working in a google collab environment also that all that also you can directly do it now i'll just write it here to to install pi audio i'll just copy the link and 
and I'll just paste it here and just say markdown. Okay, so now these are the different libraries, PyAudio and these all of these things. So now this was the libraries which will be required. Now in the next section we'll be seeing what are the different uses of these libraries and how we can develop a voice assistant using these libraries. So let's move to the next section. Hello all and welcome to the next section of our project. So now in the previous section we have had the introduction for our project and have we have seen that what are the different libraries used and the functions for these libraries that I have installed and I have told you how to install these libraries like PyAudio, PYTTSX3, DateTime, Speech Recognition, Wikipedia, Web Browser and OS. So now in this section we will be seeing the use of PYTTSX3 library which will basically help us to give the voice to our AI then we will be developing a grid function. So now moving on I have said that this is the library right now these are the commands which you have to follow these are the general commands which you have to write in order to give the voice to your AI. The first thing is engine then I am saying PYTTSX3 dot in it. So now this is Sapify, this is one of the engine which is present inside this library developed by the users. Now another one is voices which means that from that engine I am getting the property voices because I want the voices. So now there are basically two voices in this present. The one is the basically male voice that is present in zero and another one is the basically female voice. Now if you want to see these voices I can just print the ID of this. I will just say print okay these are the different voices I'll just say this is the zero okay that is why it is David the name of this voice is David that is basically the male voice and the another one is I think the female voice called Zira okay the voice the female name is Zira the female name is Zira so there are two voices now I am using the male voice you can use any of the voice on based on your choice so now we have basically set the voice for our AI. The next thing is we'll be developing a speak and greet function. So now this speak function will allow our AI to convert the speech to text. Oh sorry the text to speech from this library. Now what it is saying speech and speak and there is a parameter called audio. Basically this will be the text. Then it will say engine dot say audio. Basically it will just say in the voice of our Dave in our case then engine dot run in it. It will basically stop. So now we will use this library in this function in our different functions like this greet function in that I am saying greet me. How I am saying that I am saying give a variable called hour in that I am taking the hour of the day like if the hour is between 0 to 12 that means it is a morning then I will say it is a fine morning sir. Then I will check in the second one if the hour is between 12 and 18 it will say hope you had your brunch good afternoon sir. Now else it that means it is good evening the wind is lovely good evening sir. Now this are my personalized, personalized messages you can write any of those things what you like and then at the end it will say hello how are you I am your personal AI assistant Dave how can I be of service. So these are some personalized messages which you can write of your own. I have written with my own now. The timing is right now 1.43 pm that is the good afternoon. So when I will run this function then I will say let us see the greet function. Okay. Let us see the greet function. Hope you had your brunch. Good afternoon sir. Hello how are you? I am your personal AI assistant Dave. How can I be of service? See. It has see how good this was. This was the good afternoon. That's why the hour was between 12 and 18, basically 13 something. So that why it said good afternoon. If the hour was like in the morning, it would have said this or else this. And then it said this. Hello, how are you? I'm your personal assistant, Dave. How can I be of service? But you can do anything. Okay, you can change any of these things. You can change this sentence. You can do any of these things. You can write your name if you want to make it fancy. Like hello, you can insert your name. Then it'll say I'm your personal AI assistant, Dave. How can I be of service? You can change the name of your assistant, whatever you want to write, and all of those things. Okay, you can do anything. So now this is basically you're developing a greet function. And this is how you give your voice. So now in the next section we will be writing some command functions for the task to write the task which our AI will perform for us. 
so now let's move to the next section hello all and welcome to the next section of our project so now in the previous sections we have seen that what are the different things which we can do with using AI assistant. So now we did the introduction part. We saw the different libraries and we also developed a greet function which greeted us on the basis of the time of the day. And we also saw that how we can give the voice to our AI. So first let us see that greet function. Hope you had your brunch. Good afternoon, sir. Hello, how are you? I am your personal AI assistant, Dave. How can I be of service? See, so this was the greet function. So now the next thing what we'll do, we'll develop some command functions like how we can take command, how we can take command from the user. The, in that we'll use something called speech recognition. We have imported here import speech recognition dot s as sr. Now we'll say I'll define a function called command. Then I'll say sr dot recognizer. Now this class this recognizer class will help us recognize what we say basically it will convert the speech to text so now with sr microphone as source like that microphone now in this library in this particular microphone we need the pi audio library okay so this is where you need pi audio so and implement it or install it the way i told you so that this could work so now what i'll say with sr as my sr dot microphone as source that is the thing which i'll say through my microphone that will be the source then it will say if that work properly then say print listening then it will say that r dot pause dot threshold now this is something called pause threshold that means if i take a 1.2 second pause this is in seconds I this is in second it is considered a pause you can change this value to 0 0.8 0 0.51 in order to your need or in order to your way of speaking and there are many different things or many different parameters in this you can check it in the documentation page of speech recognition let us see the documentation page speech recognition sr this is the speech recognition library and it has different things and these are the different uh, api also okay so i have to tell you one thing that there are different apis like uh, the one we are using is recognize google that is the google api which is used uh, which is used and which is free there are different apis like ibm we have spings and we have bing but this works the best and this is the best api uh, this is also free api so this is a very good API so you can use definitely use this and it will work fine so now what I am saying I have now listened the source now what I am saying try and this is a oops concept try and accept we use try and accept because we when we see that our program can fail right it can always happen that the microphone fails to listen properly then what it will do so that's why this accept comes in where the error will be shown so now what we'll say that uh, try and print recognizing then it will recognize the audio and language is e in english that means i have said in english now recognize the audio recognize the audio and it print that audio i have stored that thing in query it will convert it will convert speech to text it will convert speech to text it will say recognize everything which i am saying then finally convert it into text it will print that now if it recognizes it well and good but if fails to recognize what happens it will give an exception then i will say accept exception as e whenever there is an exception print i could not get you please speak again and then return a null okay so this is what it is happening this is how a command function works this is how we are taking input from the user then it will say written query because the query is what the thing this is the thing okay this is the query so now this it will written okay so now this is a command function again like the speak function we will use this command function in developing different things okay in developing different things in the query like the everything the query dot uh, replay all i'll tell you what are the different things and how it will work so this is basically to recognize or to recognize everything okay so now 
what we'll do we'll just define certain different functions we'll define certain functions to take command this was the basic function of how we can make our computer to listen or we can take the input now the next thing what we'll do is we'll make different function or we'll make define task we'll assign different tasks based on our inputs so we'll do that in the next section Hello and welcome to the next section of our project. So now in the previous sections we have seen that how we can develop a greet function which we developed right here. Then we developed a command function. So now in this command function now what we have to do is we have to write the commands like we have to write the task which we will be doing which we want our AI to perform. So now the very first thing is I am writing if name is equals to main. So now this is a basic command which writes if name is equals to main that means if I am running my program in my main program that means I am not running whenever we run our program if I am running this program right the name is main because that is the same program that is the is that is the same function that means if this is a function I am running it into this program so that is the root function in that function in that program only I wrote that function now if I run this function in any other program okay if any other program let's say I wrote a different program and the, then I am saying from developing a voice assistant import greet then that way the name will not be the main the name will be that the function the name of that function so that's why I am saying if name is equals to main that means that run this function only if I am running it into my original program if name is equals to main then greet what it will do it is first run this function this greet function and it will tell you this the it will wish you and then it will tell you I am Dave I am your personal assistant how can I be of service so now the next thing I am saying if one that why you can use while loop in order to infinitely run it then I will say query is equals to command dot lower basically I am just converting all the query query you remember what query is query is this query is this the command function is this one and the query is all of the things the all of the things which I am getting okay all of the uh, things with speech to, uh, speech to text conversion which is happening I am converting that into all lower case that's because a model will understand that into lower case only so now what I am saying I am just writing logic for executing task based on that query so now I have my query I have done the command function in that I have spoken something it will tell you I recognizing then it will tell you all of those things then it has converted that into lower function now I am writing different function I am saying if Wikipedia is in my query let's say I have said that Shah Rukh Khan Wikipedia then what it will do it will just search for that it will find that yes Wikipedia is in my query it will say speak searching Wikipedia now it will search it will just speak now this is the speak function which we wrote it will say searching Wikipedia then it will say query dot replace Wikipedia what it will do it will just replace it will replace that word with the thing which we said with Wikipedia then it will say I'll I'll just grab all the results now this is a command wikipedia dot summary basically this is a function present in my wikipedia module remember this is a function which we module which we imported wikipedia more wikipedia so this is the function in that it will automatically give me the results and I am just saying in converting that into string then I am saying sentences is equals to two that means it will give me the first two sentences of that wikipedia suppose I said that searching search Shah Rukh Khan Wikipedia it will just give me the first two sentences now it will say speak according to Wikipedia first it will speak this sentence then it will print the results then it will speak this result it will speak this result now let's run this for once hope you had your brunch good afternoon sir hello how are you I am your personal AI assistant Dave how can I be of service Salman Khan Wikipedia Okay, we have to just first wrote this. Hope you had your brunch. Good afternoon, sir. Hello, how are you? I am your personal AI assistant, Dave. How can I be of service? Salman Khan, Wikipedia.
okay maybe there is a lot of noises that's why it failed to run we'll just run this again what we'll do we'll just restart our kernel we'll just restart our kernel hope you had your brunch good afternoon sir hello how are you i am your personal ai assistant dave how can i be of service hope you had your brunch good afternoon sir hello how are you i am your personal ai assistant dave how can i be of service salman khan wikipedia salman khan wikipedia searching wikipedia according to wikipedia abdul rashid salim salman khan hindi s l m n x n December 27, 1965, is an Indian actor, film producer, and television personality who works in Hindi films. In a film career spanning over 30 years, Khan has received numerous awards, including two National Film Awards as a film producer, and two Filmfare Awards for acting. See, it works perfectly fine. Now, there was a certain interruption in my kernel, that's why I have to restart it. So now, due to some background noise also it may be uh, difficult to recognize but it did what i said i searched salman you can write any of things and search wikipedia it will search it so now in the next thing the first is wikipedia right now if you want to open instagram what you'll do now i'm saying else if open instagram in query else if open instagram in query it will just go i it will just go and open Instagram with this library. I have imported web browser, right? I imported web browser. I will say open web, brow Insta web browser dot open and give the name. So it will just search this and open it. Now, it will, now the same is for YouTube, Google and Kaggle. Kaggle is very important for machine learning data science. You might have heard it. Now, if I want to know the weather, I will say if the weather in query i'll just open weather.com now if i want to know the score i'll just say if the score is in query open crickbus.com so now this was some of the online applications only which we can open using the web browser so now the next thing is if i want to open a song how can i do it it is very simple i'll say if play music i'll just you can write customize this on your own you, i am writing this command you can say anything i am saying if play music in query i'll say i give the path of that music folder i'll say songs is equals to os dot list dial now what it will do it will connect my live module it will connect my notebook to this path okay i'm just giving a path and i'm saying list path it will print songs that means it will print all the different songs which are present then i am saying print my first song okay you can customize this on the basis of your name you can print and you can write dictionary and then you can create a dictionary of the songs then you can call that particular song in your voice then it will search for it you can do that you can do these customizations on your own now this is one thing so now it will print it will bring that song okay music directory it will play that song now if i want to know the time i'll just say if the time in query start time date time dot date time dot now it will give me the time and i am getting that time in this function okay this is a very simple command now if i want to open any application i'll just say open conda that means the anaconda i'll give the path and i'll just say os dot start file and that path similarly for if i want to open discord i'll just say open that path and that path so now these are all the things present okay these are all the things present so now if you want to test one if you want to test one what we'll do we'll just restart our kernel we'll just say hope you had your brunch good afternoon sir hello how are you i am your personal ai assistant dave how can i be of service open kaggle see it has opened kaggle so now it has the particular set default set is uh, kaggle machine learning that's why it has opened this so now my net is a little slow that's why it is taking so much time but it has opened it right so we it has worked properly similarly it will do for weather crick bus any of the thing you want okay if you want to open certain file in your now if you let's say if you want to open 
uh, called and uh, discord in your file discord folder now i'll just say i'll just go again and i'll just run this again hope you had your brunch good afternoon sir hello how are you i am your personal ai assistant dave how can i be of service open discord Open Discord. So, need, so now see, this is a case of except part where I saw that okay, it could not recognize it. Now what it will do? It goes, it didn't, it could not recognize my voice. It goes to this as exception. Then it says I could not get you. Please speak again. Now when I'll run this again. Hope you had your brunch. Good afternoon, sir. Hello, how are you? I am your personal AI assistant, Dave. How can I be of service? Open Discord. As you can see, now it has opened my folder. I have not written .exe. It would have opened this function. Okay. So now it would have opened this function. So now this is how it works, right? It is pretty cool. You my, you have learned everything. You can perform many different changes in it. The sky is the limit. Okay. You can do anything. You can particularly code anything with more knowledge you can make it your own personal assistant anything you want to do and uh, this was a particular introduction or a basic ai assistant and how you can take things further from here so i'll be providing you this code and you can practice it you can change it you can change the way you like you can change the voices i'll be providing you i have provided you this link also you can download the pi audio library if not present in your computer and you can get going I hope you like this project. Thank you.